Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and all the news in details. U.S. professor who predicted correctly 9 U.X. election predicts Trump's election again. Professor Alan Lichman is a professor in American University. He has correctly predicted every U.S. presidential election since 1984, says that the coronavirus outbreak could be the final straw that ends Donald Trump's presidency comes the November election. Professor Lichman uses a prediction system known as the Keys to the White House model and operates under the assumption that presidential election results are imparted primarily by the performance of the party holding office in the run to the vote. According to the theory, Americans choose their president based upon how well the sitting president has responded to and shaped consequential events of their term. Everything else like media advertising, debates, news coverage, television appearance is disregarded by the electorate by the electorate on election day as they evaluate the president. Mr. Leachman said that there are several troubling signs for President Trump, including election losses for his party during the 2018 midterm elections, a lack of major foreign policy successes, a lack of major foreign policy successes, ongoing scandal, and fact that Mr. Trump is not a broadly appealing candidate. While the president enjoys strong support among Republicans, his approval is relatively low among the rest of the electorate. The coronavirus outbreak has rattled U.S. markets in recent days as the threat has disrupted global supply chains and seared investors. In the U.S. officials with the Center of Disease Control and Prevention have said that an outbreak in the country is inevitable at, that, at this point. We expect we will see community spread in this country, said Dr. Nancy Masonia, director of the CDC's National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases. It's not so much a question of this will happen anymore, but rather how many people in this country will have severe illness. As the U.S. election draws close, let's see if his prediction will be correct this time around. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? All we do, all we just pray for is that God should choose for you his. God should give American the best president so far. You know, we all know this present administration, as far as American is concerned, we all know the impact of Donald Trump. Negatively, let me be specific, negatively and both positively. You know, and many people were just saying that Donald Trump has not done well in this present administration. Especially many black people, they talked about Donald Trump not being a good president, being a racist, not being adequate in his uh, prediction. You know, a lot of people have said it. And why some people are still in support of Donald Trump to win? In, the, in his ne next election, all we are praying for is, the, is that God should choose for America. God should choose for America. Let's hear people's opinion. Somebody said that this time around, Mr. Predictor, you have failed woefully because the man of God in White House will win again and the Christians all over the world that has been oppressed will be free. Trump is already gone. It's just eight days to the election now. Just watch and see you fools commenting here supporting Trump. Trump that does not like you Nigerians. Thank God he is gone. Joe Biden will become American president come November 3rd next week by the special grace of God. They said if you check the numbers of people supporting Trump in Nigeria, you see that almost 90% are Hebrews because they are hoping he will give them their Biafran people. The fact is that you cannot say that almost 90% are Hebrews. You know, Hebrews does not even like Donald Trump. And generally, black people does not even like Donald Trump because Donald Trump is a racist. He is a racist. The reality is that any people that want to support Donald Trump means that such people is a fake Christian. 
because Donald Trump himself is just using Christianity to cover himself. We all know that he has a Christian pastors, Christian officials that are praying for him, but deep within himself, he is not a Christian. Because he, if, he, if he is a Christian, he wouldn't have been condemning other tribes. He wouldn't have been condemning other people from other country. I'm just being, that is just my own opinion. I might be wrong about it. My opinion might be different from your own opinion. That's the way I see it. Even many white people in America does not even like Donald Trump because of his behaviors. Because of his character. Because of the way he talks to people anyhow. And that's just the reality about it. You know, people say, man predicts, proposes, but God disposes. Donald Trump is ordained by God for the purpose of which he contests. And therefore, no amount of prediction by known or unknown experts can stop him. They said this is going to be the first failure Donald Trump is going to have. Donald Trump is not going to win. God is set to prove himself Lord of all as regards the question mark everywhere about the possibility of Donald Trump's electoral victory come November 2020. For once, this funny professor of electoral prophecies will be forced to reckon with the fact that the most high God who rules and reigns in the affairs of the world has ordained the man Trump as the last American president before the proponent of one world government take over the world and before the long-awaited trumpet sound for the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Trump, which is trumpet. God is a master planner whose planning acumen needs no man contributions or amendments. God started grooming the very vocal and no-nonsense Trump about 70 years before Trump's first, first victory, which brought him to the White House in 2017. Skeptics should therefore start getting ready to embrace mass suiciders because God is not a pleaser of people but an executor of his perfect will in the committee of nations and humanity. Are we just saying that God should choose for America? That is just our prayer, prayer right now. But at the same time, God will not choose a bad person for America. Somebody that will make a positive impact in the lives of many citizens in the country. So viewers, what is your haunting?